Hi there. First you will need a body before you can begin adding other components. Parts are quite expensive here, but you can find cheaper parts in the scrapyard if you're on a tight budget. Your robot now has all the components necessary for entering the competition. If you like, you can use your remaining money and weight allowance to add weapons, armor and extras. Lots of potential in this unseeded robot. Could be one to look out for. It's a heavyweight category robot, powered by a 24-volt sealed lead-acid battery, armoured in steel and very resilient to being cut or burnt. No expense spared on this robot. Let's hope the results live up to expectations, or someone's going to want a refund. This robot is unseeded but still could be one to keep your eye on. It's a middleweight contender. It's a wedge-shaped robot, a very popular shape, allowing them to drive in under other robots. A 24-volt sealed lead-acid battery, the power behind this robot. Shielded with Kevlar. It's armed with a powerful pneumatic pickaxe. The team also say that a huge amount of money's been spent building this robot. Let's see how that helps in the arena, then. And it even comes prepared for a power cut with those strong headlights. The flamers on the arena walls can be a great danger if a robot's flammable at all. It can give them a nasty shock, even if they aren't, too. The arena flipper comes into play when a robot's immobilized. A bit of extra insult to injury to be flipped around the arena. That's the pit. Don't want to be going in there too soon. They've got to look out for the blasts of fire from those flame grills. They can do a surprising amount of damage. You don't want to get too close to the corner patrol zones. Once you're in there, it's more pain than you can handle. Three, two, one. Activate. Sergeant Bash is waiting to cook. Who's the main course? Onto the arena flipper they go. Are they ready to fly? Charging in with tremendous force. Great range from the flamethrower as they blast away. The steel armor quite resistant to the flame. Trying hard to cut through the Kevlar. The paintwork blistering under that relentless heat. Let's hope the Kevlar doesn't catch fire. The Kevlar armor giving it great protection though. Tough steel armor making it harder to cut into of course. That flipper's ready and waiting for its first victim. The steel taking the punishment well so far. Over it goes, slowly but surely. My word, there's bits of robot all over the arena. The Kevlar taking a battering but holding up. Tremendous force behind that charge. You can see the huge dents the impact made. A gentle push there. That won't do much damage. This is classic robot wars. It goes up. It topples and falls. And can it get back on its feet again is the question now. The steel resisting the blade so far. Onto the arena flipper they go. Are they ready to fly? They can't right themselves here. I'm afraid it's game over. The layer of steel over the robot's body, deflecting some of the damage. The Kevlar, not the... T Cease!
Unseeded, but certainly not out of the running for the title. Anything can happen here. It's a middleweight competitor. It's shaped like a kind of domed wedge, powered by a six-volt nickel-cadmium battery pack, armoured in polycarbonate. Cost an absolute fortune to build this robot. Let's hope it was worth it for the forever blowing bubbles with the wand attachment, too. Unseeded this robot, but showing a lot of potential. It's a middleweight robot. This wedge shape, very popular among our roboteers, gives them the advantage of being able to get in underneath and tip opponents, of course. Powered by a 24-volt sealed lead-acid battery, armoured in titanium, it has a pneumatic pickaxe, powered from a fire extinguisher, of all things. This is one of the most expensive robots we have competing today. Nothing was too good for this team. Shouldn't miss anything with those powerful headlights. Could come in handy in the right circumstances. Three, two, one. Activate. Sergeant Bash is waiting to cook. Who's the main course? The polycarbonate. Not such good defense against cutting attacks. Not easy to smash through that polycarbonate shell. Not too easy to cut into titanium armor. Pushing it around, but not causing any damage yet. Keep going. Immediately, it tries to slam down on it. The heavy weapon crashing in and making mince meat of this one. Bits and pieces everywhere. You could melt them down, I suppose, and make a whole new robot out of them. Hard to make an impression on the polycarbonate. It's very tough. The axe has been broken off. No more use out of that, then. Moving in with a spinning disc. Can they avoid its cutting edge? The flywheel. Not making much impact that time. Unusually. Getting a bit too close for comfort to those flame jets. Chopping away. Can he get a good blow in? Tricky to cut into the titanium, luckily for them. Determined to pound it into submission. And I think it's ready to submit now. And it's going to be tough getting through the bulletproof glass on there. In it comes. Can it get under there? The massive flywheel edging closer to its prey. That flipper's ready and waiting for its first victim, trying to cut its way through the polycarbonate. Metal everywhere. And the crowd love it. Not too easy to cut into titanium armor. Tough steel armor, making it harder to cut into, of course. Pushed into Sergeant Bash. It could be toast think the sergeant wants a taste of metal and the impact causing some real damage this time the polycarbonate not such good defense against cutting attacks the titanium standing up well to the punishment they can right themselves something's wrong it looks like they're out of the contest using the cpz's to do their job for them the crowd are wondering what's happened here this isn't what they came to see they want maiming and slaughter the pit opening now in the arena floor Maybe soon to be occupied by one of these robots. On cease!